And let's turn our attention now to semiconductors. Look, a lot of the semiconductors in the world have been coming from Taiwan. It's been one of the major countries which has been running semiconductors. And then there are others. The US is a contender, South Korea is a contender, other such countries are there. India has often spoken about it. That let's become a player in semiconductors. Maybe we should set up a fab. Maybe we should look at design, which is a place after all where we do have a certain amount of talent. Maybe we can do packaging, the various aspects of the entire semiconductor supply chain. But it's never really worked. This time though, could be different. Why are people saying that this time it could be different? Because the government of India has just come out with an entire scheme a short while back where they are saying, we will pay 50% pari pass to every ru rupee that you invest in semiconductor fabs in India. We'll pay 50% from the government. And by the way, state governments also chip in with another 25%. And then there is interest. And now people are looking at India. Gina Raimondo from the United States was here four days, spent some time with Piyush Goel, signed an agreement looking at how India and the US can cooperate in this space. So can India become a big player in semiconductors? Well, here's a special package that we put together for you. In perhaps one of the most important developments for India's diplomacy and manufacturing capability, India and the United States signed a memorandum of understanding last week to boost coordination for the manufacturing of semiconductors or chipsets. Now, why is this deal important? Well, to understand that, let's understand why semiconductors are important and why they are currently posing a major crisis for global powers. At the heart of all modern technological devices, a TV, a phone or a computer, is a semiconductor or a microchip. In fact, it's not even just computers. In the modern world, your car, your washing machine, your AC, all rely on and need semiconductors to function. And the process of manufacturing these chips that power everything around us is increasingly complex and is leading to tension between the United States and China. That India can perhaps take advantage of. It takes a lot of moving parts to make one of these modern engineering marvels. Only three American companies make software needed to design advanced chips. Making physical chips using those designs requires a machine that's only made by one company in the Netherlands. And only companies based in Taiwan and South Korea can put all of this together and manufacture the most advanced computer chips. These are the choke points in the global supply chain. Now, a few years back, China was quick to recognize this. After the Cold War ended in the 1990s, China had become friendlier with the United States and had enticed many chip companies to shift their assembly operations to China. In the 2000s, China dominated the assembly part of the supply chain. But as China's political scenario changed, the regime realized that this assembly relied on imported silicon from their geopolitical adversaries and poured money into upping their own capabilities, which some allege included IP theft. This angered the United States, which saw this move as a security threat. And the US-China tech cold war has been heating up lately. In 2018, the Trump administration banned US companies from selling components with Chinese tech company ZTE. In 2019, it banned them from doing business with China's largest tech company, Huawei. Then in 2022, Joe Biden's administration targeted China's chip industry more broadly. It banned global tech companies to use U.S. semiconductor technology from selling chips to China. In the midst of this dispute, the U.S. is actively engaging the practice of friend-shoring, which means sourcing raw materials and components from countries who are your allies. And India is looking to become a semiconductor manufacturing nation. Because remember, the vast majority of microchips these days are made in Taiwan, which is fast heating up as a potential site of conflict between the US and China. Setting up semiconductor manufacturing facilities requires years of labor and billions in investment. 
But with India's access to talent and continued investment, it could well be on its way.